we're just going to get right into it. I think op giving donors options as far as where they can go um, and not having to make that decision the night of your event. I think that's a really, really awesome, lucrative um, auction item scenario and idea um, at the, the end of the day. The reason that it works is because you start getting multiple people to compete against one another. Yeah. Because yeah. one person wants to go to, you know, Amsterdam. The other person says, I really want to go to Vienna. Somebody else says Copenhagen. Yeah. So they're all bidding against each other. Yeah. But they all get to win. And so that's why we'll, we'll, we'll dig into that. So welcome, everybody. Yeah. HGA yeah. webinar series, free webinar series. Every episode in Central. 146? I believe so. Sounds good to me. 146 of these darn things yeah. and they just keep getting better wait till you see the games we have for everybody we're getting we're getting very very generous at the end of these things so definitely no hey, so stay to the end stay to the end stay if to you're in the win yeah we're give something yeah. away it's gonna be really good get a good prize um yep. we might even give a prize away in the middle of it somebody does something i love cool. it you're in a very generous mood since the first of the year i think it's really I know. cool i just it's you know my my word my word of the year has been focus i've been really focused on some things and mm -hmm. um being more generous is one of the things I'm focused on. So I'm trying to give everything away. Trevor's kind of got a shot collar on me. So if you see me kind of jump, he's saying, stop. Yeah. I was going to say, I was going to interject and say, you've been really focused on giving stuff away. So that's cool, man. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, we're <laughs> glad you all could hey, be here. Um, hey, if, it, if you've been here before, it's great to see you again. If you haven't, like our friend Dan from, from Running California right here. Uh, if you haven't, it's great to meet you. Thanks so much. My name's Trevor Nelson. Mm -hmm. Obviously, that's Jason Ledlow. We're HGA Fundraising. Super, super cool. I was actually, I had the good fortune of being a guest on a webinar yesterday. And I, I made a point to say, well, you know what we do? We don't, we're not travel agents. We do, you know, we do offer trips and experiences, but we don't really put the travel agent hat on because that's not what we are. I said, we, yeah. end up, we, we spend most of our time giving our best information away for free. And today is no different. Um, we're, this is a very exciting topic for us because Jason, you know, basically has three decades of experience with the live auction. I've got close to a decade of, of experience with live auctions. Um, this is not a pitch, by the way, Jay. I hope I can. I'm just going to toss a disclaimer. Oh, well, yeah, not a pitch. we're going to we're going to talk about stuff. But yeah, you is, don't need to have a live great, auction yeah. right now. This is not like we're not saying, hey, have a live auction at your next event. But we're going to we're going to make it. We're going to make a case that you should and why. Sure, sure. But, but at least be considering it. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, there's so much so, upside. So, yeah. You know, when we we start talking about things in live auction, I talked to Trevor about this a little offline. I wanted to bring some things up because a lot of things are going on out there in the world in the fundraising world, post COVID, all this stuff. I mean, we're still talking it's 2024, mm -hmm. but there's some things that happen within every industry. There are trends and there are fads. Okay, so you know, bell bottoms, straight legged jeans, skinny jeans, all those kind of things. It all happens. There are trends and there. There's fads. There's the basic jeans that everybody wears every day, and they still wear. They, you know, five oh Levi's five oh ones. I get. I don't even know yeah. if they still because I don't wear them anymore. But my point is, there are just like everything else. There are also these things that happen within the fundraising industry. We do these galas. We do these fundraisers. But we, you know, are, we're trying to power the mission. Okay. And where does the live auction go? And there's been a the trend in the live auction over the last 10 years, I would say, really the last five, but 10 goes back, is to have less items. You know, I go back 30 years ago, whenever I started doing this and, you know, over 30 years when I did my very first uh, charity auction, you know, there were like 22 items or something. I did one, I remember, remember this very, because I was exhausted afterward. We had like 60 yeah. items in a live auction for yeah. a charity, okay? In the round, everybody sat there and they, there was no alcohol. So it was really, it was really tough, but there That's were a lot of small items and things. It was just that kind of deal. Now, all the trend is, you know, we used to, in fact, as much as five years ago, I would have told you 10 to 12. Some people would have said 12 to 15 items. I was kind of in that 10 to 12. Fair. Now we're in that five to six, six to eight. It's kind of getting less and less. Yep. But there's a fad that's going around and this is being promoted, I think, and incorrectly. And I'm going to, I'm going to just jump on my opinion box and tell you why I think this is. Okay. That's where people start saying, well, you don't need to have a live auction. You just need a really good fund to need. Stop you know? the bus. Stop the bus. Exactly. And, and I'm like, okay. And having done this for 30 years, I've done plenty of fund to needs where there was no live auction. I understand there is a point in time where you can do that, but I want to just talk about this and we're going to play a little game with your permission. Uh, down here in the chat, if you'll just do it, you know, the answers will come up, just put them in real quick. And it's just going to come to Trevor and myself. 
And so if you'll put that in there, what you think it is, and if we hit somebody hits it right, I'll pop it up on the screen and we'll see if we can get some winners because I want to play a little family feud. We'll call it HGA feud to see right. if we can do that. I'll play, you know, you'll hear this. That means we got a right answer. Can y'all hear that? Did you hear the ding? And then I did. Yep. that means it's wrong. Okay. Yep. And this is not uh, based on any survey. It's just based on my opinion. Okay. So, you know, All right, I've got man. a license on it and kind of what we think. So, the first, what I want to do is, can somebody tell me what does a live auction, what do you think a live auction brings to a fundraising event? What does it bring? What does it do? That's a good question. Oh. Great question or great answer, Elizabeth. Yeah. All Ooh, right. Cody. Okay. Whoa. Okay. We got Whoa. energy. Yeah. Excitement. Yep. Yep. <laughs> That's a good one because it's there. It's really good. Uh, well done. Well done, everybody. Thank you. Yeah. Energy, excitement. What else? What else do we have in here? I already know you can spell Keep Jack. Keep on coming. Okay. Keep yeah. on coming. There's money. A, yep. It raises money. What? Oh, I'm not supposed what to are, answer. Sorry. You're not supposed to be answering this. Sorry, Come sorry, on. sorry. Yep. Other people. I got excited. Uh, I told you I don't follow okay. direction very well. You know, interaction. Let me look at this and see what they say. Interaction with donors? Right. If we care to embellish okay. a little bit? How I about mean, donor? I didn't. Okay, we're going to give that one. Pauline, what do you think? Is that kind of where you're headed with that? I think that's what, what I, else is out there that it does. We've got, you know, we've we've hit on four of them. There's one more that I heard feel free to answer more than once too. Yeah, there's one more. Come on, somebody, anybody. What does a live auction do? Big funds, money, yeah. winner. Thank you so much, Jackie. Thank you so much because it Far does out. raises yep. money. Yep. Okay, raise money. So thank you so much for playing the HGA feud. I really appreciate it. You guys give great answers. But we're going to go through these and talk about them individually and why they're important. Okay. So the first thing I want to do is I want to talk, talk about who comes to our events, right? We're going to get to the live auction part. And I promise you we're going to answer any questions you have and really dig into it. But let's identify the people that are coming to our auction. I don't have any more things to pop up, so we won't do that. But let me just ask when you're thinking about the people that are coming, who are the people that are coming to our events? They're obviously people that we've sold tables to, mm -hmm. but who else is going to come? Supporters, new supporters. Yeah. New are they donors, supporters? People who well, care. Right. Very, very true, Jackie. Yeah. So what I want to just mention to you, they're, we're going to bring guests. Yep. Okay. We're going to have people come that have never heard of our mission. Huge. They don't know who we are. Um, they're just simply, be, they're going because Jackie invited me to go to her event and I'm going to go because we're yep. friends. Yep. My wife and I are going to go sit at her table. We're, we're going to get dressed go. up. We don't know. We don't know anything about else about what's going on. Now, we're going to hear that. We're going to hear the talking about the mission throughout this event. We're going to do it, but it still may not be the thing that's going to trigger us to do something that's going to be significant so early in my career whenever i started doing charity auctions before you know when i've been retired now for a couple of years but um when i would go i would go and ask where's all the money at i would always ask this question where's the money at where's the money tables at because i didn't know because i was a 23 year old kid that didn't have a clue um, but i could bid call really well and they would say well this is such and such table and this is so and so and this is such and such and guess how many times those wound up being the big bidders in the room almost never zero occasionally it would happen but most of the time it didn't and i learned really quick that this was not about identifying the people that had already given it was about identifying the people that were new there who could give and i cannot tell you in the past 30 years how many times the biggest bidder in the room the biggest bidder at the not talking about fund and need i'm only talking about the live auction would be somebody in the back that just happened to come because they knew somebody yep and what with follow up and did you know these people are spending 10 15 20 thousand dollars on something and a lot of times it was because well you know i i we were all we really wanted to go on that trip anyway we thought that yep. was sounded really cool we kind of heard learned a little bit about what the what this is about we thought well this would be a good way to you know we wanted to do it yeah. Sometimes it's just impulse. They don't even know what the mission is. They just they just want to go take this off. Awesome, awesome. They want it. It yeah. is something that's it's something that they want, this experience. And I'm talking about trips and experiences more than items and things because 
Another trend is that people do not want items and things. They want experiences. They want trips. They want once in a lifetime type of things. So an access. Okay. Yep. So I'm saying all this because what, one of the things that we miss out on when we take out our live auction is we miss out on identifying these, these new donors. That is so important and it's so critical. And it's such an important thing that we advocate that you have somebody sitting up there doing nothing but watching people bid and figuring out what table they're at and doing it and just yep. working on that. If you've got somebody that kind of knows everybody, that's a perfect person. Perfect. But even if they're not, just sitting there and have, they have a table diagram and they just start marking it down how many times people were bidding. Even if didn't buy anything. You got yep. somebody that's raised their hand and bidding on something for five, ten thousand dollars. That's someone you want to talk to. I would hope that you would want to. Yep. Who Absolutely. here would like to have a new five thousand dollar donor? Hundred percent. That level that has that capacity and have a have a connection with them. A hundred percent. So, so that's one of the things you know. We it's really about identifying these donors and seeing who they are because they are going to bid. There are going to be people there. There's also going to be people that you know <laughs> are bidding at everything and they come you know. Old Trevor, he, he comes up and runs everybody up. He doesn't hardly buy anything, but boy, he sure helps everybody else pay more money. <laughs> we need those people. You need too. people like that too. Yeah. Yeah. And, and so that's always a good. So I wanted to just, you know, really touch on that and say that when we're really focused on this live auction, why you've got to do it, it's because it's that donor engagement. It's connecting to new potential donors that you can see what kind of capacity. Because you may have somebody sitting there, you know, and I have no idea what, you know, Johnny, I'm, you know, I know he's here, but I have yeah. no idea if he's got capacity. Nobody else does either. And all of a sudden he raised his hand at something at ten, fifteen thousand dollars or five thousand even. And we're like, holy cow, Johnny's a player. Yeah, someone's someone's he's here. got some capacity. So now we know Absolutely. And this is a great way to identify. You want to talk uh, about another trend that we're seeing a lot as well. Yeah. With the advent of better advertising pre-event and branding by organizations with their mobile bidding software, auction websites, all the above, folks are now pulling the trigger, so to speak, on buying tables, buying tickets, saying yes to invitations to go to events, you know, galas, banquets, all the above, because of the because of the opportunity that they'll have to bid on really cool auction items. You know what I mean? I mean, it's really another thing is it's really okay for, for folks to want something in return for their dollars. Well, it, it is. And, and the reason that is, is because you may have somebody that is not connected to your mission. This is the yep. first time they've ever showed up. We're going back to the thing. You know, I go to a deal. Jackie invites me and my wife. We go sit there. We don't have any idea what's going on. And all yep. of a sudden, they, they bring something up and my wife goes, I want that. Yes, precisely. That. Yep, yep. It happens all the time. Yep. And, and we see this across the country where we're talking to somebody and the, the, we had a, a deal where the largest donation in the entire event was an auction item that they bought in the silent auction. And it was somebody that it was a guest. Yeah. Last minute guest came, spent $15,000. Great, so, great, great question, Regina. Regina I want to get to that. I, I, we, I promise you we'll cover that. Absolutely. I'll, but I had know. something else, Jay, as well. I mean, we were talking about energy, excitement. Well, that's where I, that's where I want to go to. So get, yeah, get, I think yeah. there's another E. I think there's another E, and that's entertainment. If you have a good auctioneer, I just did this lovely conversation. The podcast went out today with Jordan Campbell. He's going to join us next Thursday. This is a two-part live auction series, so be sure to sign up for the webinar next Thursday as well. But I just had a lovely conversation with Jordan, and he's in a kilt. He's Scottish. He's got a lovely accent. If you don't listen to the podcast and automatically become a huge fan of this fellow, maybe there's something wrong, but such a such a wealth of information nails the live auction does a great job with with hosting emceeing the fun to need all the above but he entertains people he high fives people energy entertainment excitement all the above will lead to and well, equate to a really really strong experience for everyone our, there our friend dean down, dean crown over in atlanta he talks about Same being, thing. he's an entertainer he's, an, know, he's, he's an entertainer I'm not, yep. you know, i'm yep. a bid caller Okay. Yep. And just so y'all know what the difference is that when we say we use those terms, a bid caller, I mean, I was a world-class bid caller at one point in time in my life. That's I'm right, ready to go. Have it, baby, one, right. two, three, four, five, money, five, six, here. I'm not doing totally. that. So I, I'm not auditioning for anybody, please. But what I'm saying is the auctioneering part of it, that they may yes. not auction because it's different whenever you're, you know, if you're selling 300 cars an hour in a car auction versus being in a, a gala, but exactly. that, excitement that energy that entertainment is so important because 
No That's question. the part that gets left out so many times yes. out of the fund to me. Okay. Yeah. I'm just going to tell you, having done this, it is really hard to hear the story about how we're sending kids with cancer to camp and it's a thousand dollars. And how can you do this? And what are we doing? There's no excitement about that. There's no fill fun filled room. It is solemn heartstring, you know, this emotional really deal. And what I would say is that the best way to make that deal, and I know people that do it in the first, I know they do it at the end. I don't care. That's not my, my that, whatever your auctioneer likes to do is fine. Where they do a fund to need first in the live auction. Some people like to party first and cry later. Some people like to cry first and party later. It's mm -hmm. all the same thing because it's changing tempo. It brings an extreme because there are some people that are not going to cry. They're not going to get attached. They don't care about a kid going to cancer because that's not their thing, but they would sure as heck like to meet the mayor and they'll pay, they'll pay $10,000 to go sit, have, have lunch with the mayor. Okay. I'm just telling you, that's the way you've got to look at this. And so don't throw the baby out with the bathwater because it's a fad. It's, I think that's what it is. And, you know, not all fads are good. Anybody remember, you know. And just, just for context, Jason's talking about removing the live auction from your event entirely. Yeah. And just so, going with a fund to need. Yeah. It's a great conversation yeah. to have. And what's happening, another thing, and especially with professional fundraisers like you all, it can become a drag. Okay. Because when somebody says, well, let's just not have a, let's not, because it's just too much time. It takes too much time. We're having a try, hard time getting items. The so auctioneer, just, yeah. the what have well, you. Yeah. If, you know, if you're taking on most of this stuff and you're the development director, or you're a volunteer, the executive director, and you're having to wear all these hats, it's kind of like you're like a relief almost. Mm -hmm. But let's remember what we have. We're leaving we're, money on the table. Kayla, this is the one time, and maybe you have more than one, but most of you have one. This is the one time that you will have the most people, the most attention at one time where you can get all the data okay all this information all these things and all this opportunity don't let that one because you're work, working hard you're going to work everybody knows this is hard work yeah. we all know it is it is nothing easy about it it's hard so if it's going to be hard anyway you might as well reap the best benefit that you possibly do the can. work yep absolutely so i'm off my soapbox yeah, and here we're going to talk about some other things about structure of a live auction. And so I want to start off, if you don't mind, Trevor, I'm going to hit you back with this because you brought yep. it up. Yep. So let's talk about things that you want to do with your live auction. OK, these are best practices that we see from the best fundraisers across the world, coast to coast. And these are the ones that have the most success. They pre advertise their live auction. Big time. Yeah, and big time. No mysteries. Using, no mysteries. If you're using if yeah. you're using live auction software. This is a great way to promote it. And you can do a text every day about text, what, email blast, a social a different item. Let's say that you got five items in your live auction. You could do one every day going up to it of the yeah. live auction. Can't wait for the live auction. Oh my gosh, it's going to be here. The live auction, we're going to have, you know, lunch with the mayor. And, mm -hmm. you know, you put that out there. And I'm not just talking about, because we're in the consignment business. We have items and trips and experiences that will raise a lot of money. But we're also talking about all of your items, okay? And we want to talk about that for just a little bit. We'll get to it. But, um, you know, and back to your point, Regina, about experiences, we'll touch on that. Yeah, love that. Pre-event pre -event advertising, that is a trend, and it is, a trend <clears throat> that is returning huge uh, dividends to people. I hope because that one doesn't go away. In the event, they, will, they, they start thinking about it. They go, I want to come do it. We literally know somebody who went to the event, said, I want that item. I'm going to pay you this for it, you know, and, and just said, I, I'm leaving with it. Yeah. I think also just a, a minor point, but an obvious one is people don't like surprises in these scenarios. And then we're well, also I, talking about. I, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to agree to disagree, but I'm going to, I'm, we'll, we'll disagree. I'm going to make a point about, about Please do. surprises here in just sure. a second. Sure. I'll come back to it. But, but in the point that you're making, let them prepare. If you've got a ten or fifteen, twenty thousand dollar, it's hard from the standpoint of a financial decision to make that in the heartbeat. Now we do okay. have that happen. Obviously, sure. people get impulses, and we they've had a couple of cocktails, and it's like, yeah, we've all seen, yeah, and everybody starts cheering them on, yeah, and they get going, and that's great. Yeah. But also, we want to prime the pump. We want we want to make sure that they know what's coming. It's out there. 
Yep. Because there will be some people that go look at that and they'll start thinking about that trip. We're also, and Amanda, we're also Amanda's sitting here thinking, I don't really know if I want to do that. Sure. Yeah, you know what? I've been thinking about that. I would like to take that trip to Costa Rica. I think sure. Costa Rica is really where I ought to be at. And so they get there and they're ready to go. When's the trip? Yeah, they're, they're, I like to say they're, they're figuratively packing their bags, right? You bet. Um, mm -hmm. giving folks that information, I say, no surprises. I want to hear what I want to, I mean, it'll probably be pretty, pretty obvious when you tell me, I want to hear your, your point about that. And then also pre-event advertising also means when folks are checking in, checking out or checking in, pardon me, before they, mm -hmm. they before they even bid high traffic areas, having live auction items on display as well. So think yeah, about that. A lot having of the live there. auction item on display. And this is other yeah. things really important having someone there to explain the items and talk yep. to them. A now, volunteer, I'm gonna, I'm staff gonna member. advocate for this. Yeah. If you're hiring a live auctioneer and you're paying them a lot of money, okay. And you should pay them a lot of money because they're worth it. Don't buy some auctioneers before. aren't cheap. Yeah. And cheap auctioneers aren't good. Yeah. Just keep that in mind. So when you're doing that, part of their responsibility is that live auction. And one of the things I like to see live auctioneers do, and I know many that do do this, they will stand in front of the live auction booth, the live auction display table, and they will answer questions. Absolutely. Scotty Gibbs is a world-class phenomenal. He is a great bid caller. He is a great fundraiser. He's out of San Antonio, Texas. Uh, and you know, when we're name dropping people, so we're not, there's, there, there's lots of great auctioneers. So please understand yeah. there's just people that we're giving examples of. Um, and, one thing that Scotty will do is he will stand in front of that and talk to people about it and go, well, let me ask you a question. You know, do you see yourself going to this place? What do you, what do you, what can I help you with? And he'll answer the questions he's already yeah. looked at. And I'm talking about not just the, you know, consignment things, but you know, like the things that we provide in the trips, but he'll ask questions about it and look at it and say, you know, there's not many chances you're going to get to have lunch with the mayor. <laughs> right. This right. is one right here at ABC charity. You're going to get to do that. And when people, when, when you do that, it gives people confidence, okay? Because maybe there's a little with, with hope because they're not sure. Everybody's different. I'm an impulse guy. Trevor's pretty, imp, you know, impulse guy. We're, we're just like, yeah, we'll jump. Like Yosemite say, Sam. Hey, jump, off, hey jump, jump off that diving board in the pool. Okay. Yep. You know, but there's some people that actually want to check and make sure there's water first. Yeah. Okay? Other than like Trevor and I, and we're halfway down and going, oh, we forgot. There's no water. So, so you know, I mean, I'm just, uh, we are kind of like that though. You're yeah, right. So, uh, what I want to say is that when it comes to these things, we're not impulsive. We're very, very, uh, structured. I think we're, I think we're in, intentional because I think all these things breed success, right? Yeah. Um, you want okay, to get to so, Regina's question? Well, I, I do. And what I want to do, so we're going to kind of talk about, because we're talking about people, you know, we got to have the right people. And now we're talking about what is it that people want? Yeah. I hear this all the time. What would be a good auction item? And I literally, it is the it is the, the most comical thing to me, okay? When people start trying, and all of a sudden, they forget everything that they've experienced, everything they know, and they just come up with something out of left field. Sure. Wouldn't it be cool if we got tickets to the World Cup soccer? Sure, yeah. Well, and, it you know, would be. It will. Let me finish. finish. Yeah. It would be okay. Yeah. yeah. But where was the World Cup just held? Anybody know? Qatar, I think. I yeah, it was yeah. in Qatar. Yeah. It's a zillion miles away. There's not that many people that are that big a hockey. Or, sorry, hockey. So there you go. Soccer yeah, yeah, yeah. fans. Uh, you know, yeah. football soccer fans in here. Even saying, well, let's get tickets to Super Bowl. Okay, they're five thousand cool. dollars a piece. Yeah, I was gonna say. So a lot you of times know, a committee, a committee member is getting yeah. all, you know, getting all, getting all yeah. wonky with these crazy ideas, which are also, by the way, you know, I'm saying that very delicately and politely, uh, but at the end of the day, they are crazy and uh, sometimes, and yeah. they don't always equate to raising money, right? Well, the things that people want, and this is, we know this by surveys, we know it by what they sell because we we're in the product, we're in the trip and experience business. So we know whenever that, that works and when it doesn't, when it doesn't work, we pull it, we don't, it's not on there anymore. Yeah. Uh, and when I say they want it, they just, it doesn't, it doesn't, you know, move. We know what moves the market because we've got a lot of data. We sell a lot of trips. So the thing that determines a good experience, so it fits into four, four groups. I call them the four food groups of fundraising. Yep. And so it's a domestic destination, 
international destination, a once in a lifetime, and a beach trip. If you can have something in those four things, everybody in your room will at least pay attention to it. Those they are may good not guides. Happen, yeah. But those are the what everybody wants. Nobody wants stuff anymore. Yep. Gang, we've got plenty of stuff. We can all get on Amazon, have a whole pile of stuff at my front door tomorrow, sometimes yep. today. So we don't need stuff. And the trend is people want to do things, they want to experience, they want to feel, they want emotion. Okay. They want to do it together in groups. Yeah, We're seeing yeah. a huge, they, well, huge and, trend there. Yeah. And so let me let me give you an example of some things um, when it comes to items and things that people want. And I'm going to talk about once in a lifetime. Let me give you an example. And let's and keep the questions life, coming too, folks. By yeah, the way, please. please. Yeah. Uh, once in a lifetime. Once in a lifetime experience, what does that mean? That means lunch with the mayor. Okay, but it's who we have access to. So we start yeah. doing, well, does everybody want to have lunch with Trevor? Well, I like to have lunch with Trevor, but, you know, it ain't going to, it's, it's not going to broad brush because it's not something, so a public figure like that. Yeah. And we don't ever want to let them speak at our event, but we sure want them to give us something because they'll yeah. want to take everything from you. I promise you. They'll well, want to get up and give a campaign speech, but don't ever let them do that. Um, like we did a deal one time where we had, uh, we had the majority leader, of the state house and the minority leader of the state house, both of them, dinner, they each brought ten thousand dollars. Yeah, it's awesome. So it was both sides of the fence. We had the Democrat and the Republican, and I'm not here to get political. That's what this was. They both stood together, got up there, and said, "Hey, yeah, we're going to do." It. And they had a lot of fun with it, and it raised twenty thousand um, dollars because it was a once in a lifetime. Because That's to get access. their time is really difficult. It's access. Okay. Yeah. So they were willing to give that was something they could give. Um, you know, look through all the people that you know, the way we, we're identifying what we have. You know, can they write, write a check for $10,000? Yeah. Pull a table? Would... Do they have access? Okay. Yeah. I'm a helicopter pilot. I used to have a helicopter. I don't now. So you don't call me because I don't have one anymore. But that's access. So, you know, it was yeah. something I would donate. I would do, I'd do Christmas light rides and I would donate those throughout the year. Um, and then I would have, you know, we would have an evening, uh, a couple of evenings a night where we'd go out and do the Christmas light rides. Mm -hmm. and that was part of the donation that we would give my wife and I would do. So when I say this, that's access and that's what people want. It's something that they just can't ordinarily go out and buy or that they probably wouldn't take the time to go look at look for. It. Yep. But this, you know, um, golf experiences, if you have access to a local and I'm not talking about you know, just an ordinary golf club, but I'm like a, a nice one, one where maybe a major tournament has been played or uh, something on the senior tour. That's exciting because that's not something that people can get access to. So you get, you can put them on there. That's the kind of things that people want. People want to meet people. If you've got a local business leader, you know, breakfast with a billionaire, if you've got somebody there and you, you've got connections with them, say, would you be willing to do it? Maybe it's a coach. Okay. Sure. If you've got a university or college, Maybe it's some players now with NF with the uh, 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 NIL, which is yeah. where they can make money. Yeah. You call the university up and say, "Look, hey, I need some. I, we've got this event going on, and can we get some players to come and have breakfast with a couple of winners? We're doing this auction. They'll do it because they're paying these players, and they've got to do stuff, and that's that's part of the program. So you go to a local university there, call, and guess what? You'd be surprised." Um, Baseball. My my wife bought my son uh, to be the ball boy for the University of Oklahoma for a, a Bedlam game one time. Yeah, it's awesome. I'm not going to tell you what she gave because it was a lot. Yeah. But she's got pictures of my little my son who's now 20. Whenever he was like nine years old. Yeah. Of getting to be a ball boy. That's forever stuff. Oklahoma, and so yeah. you know those are experiences that you can get. Um, those are things that really become. Uh, great trips. Now I am going to talk about consignment, Trevor and I, are, because yeah. we do. So we don't talk about it much. So this is not a sales pitch. There's other great companies out there. So that's yeah. whatever. Let me let, let me interject before we go to that path really quick. You know, Regina, like thirty thousand foot view as well. I think this is something I stole from you, Jay. But a, a, what what determines what a good experience is? How much are you looking to make in your live yeah. auction? That's one major consideration. Is remember the money, right? And what the goal of the of the live auction, for instance, component of your event is. You have data, right? So you have what's mm -hmm. sold in the past. If something works, it works and it'll be obvious or something works kind of in the same vein, in the similar vein or genre. If Europe, 
was a huge seller for you last year and you sold an item to France six times in your live auction and made great money, I would probably consider doing France again or some something in Europe, right? And we'll talk about that with consignment opportunities. Yeah. Well, and, um, and I want to I just give you a thought on this real quick. And yeah. This is something that just, it, it came up on a call that I had with a group of ladies with a private school that they're going to do their fundraiser here in March. And they had some really great properties. But the problem is, and this was donated, okay? Mm -hmm. Here's the issue with stuff that's donated. The one great thing is you get all the money. Okay? Sure, we need these things. But, yeah, but we do. But the thing is, whenever you're talking about your donors, typically the people that are donating it, the person that's donating their house in Aspen, they're saying, look, you can have it anytime, anywhere, as long as it's, you know, between here and here, oh, yeah. and here and here and here. And Might be mildly that. restrictive. And, yep. Yeah. And it becomes extremely restrictive and it's really yeah. tough. Yeah. And the reason is because they bought the property. They want to go use it whenever they want to. And maybe they've right. given it away a couple other times. So they're like, you know, look, you can't have it on a major holiday. You can't have, and it's, it becomes a blackout. Day. Typically you can sell it only right. once, you know, maybe yeah. twice well, best case. If you've really communicated well with that twice. donor. But if yeah. you're asking for one, always ask for two to say, yeah. if, we, if it does really good, can we have two? That's a really good Who's point you know, to, take, to take consideration of that. Yeah. And then, and then Regina, I mean, you can disagree with me, Jay, or anyone that's, that's listening. I like the idea of asking ahead of time, you know, what would folks like to see as opposed to just relying on the, the, yeah, the I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to give you some thoughts on that. Yeah, please. I do agree that you want to ask him, but don't yes. just open a blank slate and say, what do you want? Just totally. Two choices. Ha have a focus. A survey and say, yeah. Hey, which ones would you rather guys rather do? Would you rather go to Tuscany or would you rather go to Lisbon? I think it's engaging Regina. I think it's, a, and everyone listening, I think it's cool. Um, I think you're asking for feedback. I think that donors are, and supporters are investors and investors want to have a say. So I actually think that's kind of an underutilized approach and it can be done. Like Jason said, yeah, don't, don't give them the, the list of 50 States in, <laughs> in our, in our nation and just pick the one you want, you know, no, for sure. Um, have it, you know, cause you know, uh, it's paralysis by analysis. We call it, if you give too many options, right. So it's another three, thing. Three options most, yeah. Yeah, three, four. But well, I think that's a great way to go about it too. I don't know if anyone's had any success with that, but if it's done deliberately and intentionally, it can be really, really, yeah. Uh, if impactful. you're, if your events in 60 days, you don't have time. Might be a little late. Yeah. If you're, late. if your events in six months, absolutely. You should do. But I'm saying have fun with it. Yeah. Have fun with people, it. And don't ask everyone ask the people that have money that you know who are donors who are stakeholders who are doing totally things, came and supported and, you because yeah. if you ask me where i wanted to go and i said yeah i want to go to i want to go to singapore yeah because you put down that as a choice but it comes up time and you have singapore and i never bid on it why didn't you bid on singapore well you didn't ask me what i'd bid on you asked me what i want where i'd like totally. to go yeah 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 exactly so exactly. make sure your question is that where would you be willing to buy at our event would this be something yep. you'd be willing to bid on I hope that helps, Regina. Yeah. Let us know if, if we need to go a little deeper on that. And then any other questions anyone has about that? I, I want to talk, can, if I, and I'd like to extrapolate just a little bit, just for a couple of minutes on mm -hmm. some items. And please, any questions, comments, whether you agree, disagree, yep. what, please come in. If you're watching this on the recording, do the same thing. Give us a, you know, oh, give us you. a shot on it. We want to hear because yeah. you know, hear your comments because we know a yeah, lot Give of us a question on YouTube, all that good stuff. Yep. So what I, what I want to mention is, you know, Trevor, you said we want to start with the end. How much money do we need to raise? Yeah, you taught okay, me that. Okay, if you've taken everything that you're doing and you're looking at how much money are we walking in the door, we want to raise $100,000. Let's just use that number. That means before we walk in the door, we need to have $70,000 net dollars in the bank. Yeah. Yeah. That means we've got to raise $30,000 our night of, night of the event. Mm -hmm. Well, okay, so we say, okay, well, we think we're going to get, you know, we can get, uh, we're going to do a, a golden ticket. We're going to make 10000 in there okay so they're getting sponsored and underwriters we got 10 grand so now we got to get 20. well we've never we've done a fund of need and we got fifteen thousand. okay so we got to have five thousand dollars in our live auction well first of all well, i don't ever want to do anything i always want to be very conservative when i put my numbers together for the night up the reason is we don't know what's going to happen stock market crashes there's a snowstorm crazy storm yeah may i don't know you know yep. just things go up whatever you just don't know when people come in and 
you want to make sure that if everything goes sideways, you're still going to make your number. If you need to raise $10,000 in your live auction, you need to have items that are going to raise $10,000. But what we want to do is if everything just barely just does okay, we're going to make 10,000 because if everything goes great, if everything, you know, the stock market surges, everybody's happy, you know, the sun shines, it's all lined up. Everything's great. You know, um, our mystery guest is, was able to show up and, you know, we've got this person and it makes everybody happy and everybody drinks an extra cocktail, whatever you've got where you can make one, two, three. We've got our uh, example of that. We're in Atlanta, MDA did an event. They raised a million dollars. Their goal was 500,000, right. but every, they, but they planned to have a lot of headroom. Please, please. I beg you, you put all this work, all this stuff. Number one, take things that people are going to raise money, you know, just because, uh, you know, Trevor donated you a new lawnmower doesn't mean that you need to put the new lawnmower in the, and he really wants it in the live auction because he wants his name talked about and everybody, but that doesn't mean you have to put it in the live auction. Good call. You know, because you said, well, we've got this much time. And just so you know, a live auction item is three minutes. That's how much time you should allot to it. So if you have five items, that's 15 minutes. If you have 10 items, it's 30 yeah. minutes. Okay. Yeah. So that gives you an idea and give yourself five minutes on either side of it. Don't put yourself into a place where you're like, well, we've got to get started. Um, or we're, well, we've got to shut it off. I literally had somebody go and say, Hey, you need to, need to hurry up. Like yeah. this is why we're here is to raise money because yeah. they were trying to get to something that didn't make money. Yeah. So, you know, that's something to consider for sure. Um, I'm going to do three things that I think are really important in, in the live auction. Now, these are trends that are very good. Video is speaks Huge. volume. Okay. Video speaks volume. You need to have that's a, a game changer for us. That's how everyone, Spend that's how everyone money, consumes Go to Fiverr, go to, yeah. uh, kick or not to kick, sorry, Um, What's the other uh, fiber upwork? Yeah, there's all uh, kinds of you can find yeah. people to do these things. Hey, find awesome. someone, your committee or your board. They know yeah. someone. They know a nice video put that, together. That 30 kicks. seconds on the video. Yeah. Don't put yeah. a three minute video together. 30 seconds is plenty. Yep. Um, you don't even have to have sound. On it. Now, sometimes uh, yeah. people do. Sometimes Visually, we sound, we talk about yeah, it. Mu music is great. Makes um, all makes all the difference because your auctioneer can sit there and say, "Ladies and gentlemen, the next item we have it for." I am so sorry. I can't yeah. believe I'm going to get it. Well, that's here. music. That's yeah. For um, instance. Yeah. So, yeah. So, uh, uh, you know, they get up there that starts playing and the yeah. 30 seconds is included in, in the three minutes. So mm -hmm. the video starts playing, goes for 15 seconds. The auctioneer starts saying, ladies and gentlemen, we have a wonderful trip here tonight. We're going to get to send you to Cabo San Lucas. You're going to get to go to Cabo. You're going to get two nights, all inclusive, four nights. It's going to be a wonderful time. You see all these things, all the drinks, taxes, everything's going to be included right here tonight at our event only. You're going to get to do this. And then they go right into the auction. And when they do that, the video captures people's attention because they, they, everybody says, what are they auctioning off? You want to know. Okay. Mm -hmm. The auctioneer can take care of the crowd, but you want to do it. Back in the day, we used to have just a little a book. Okay. We had the program. Mm -hmm. Then we started using slides. Now video is key. We live in a Snapchat world. We live in uh, Snapchat. What's the TikTok other vacation? TikTok yeah, vacation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to get their attention. Okay. Yeah. So, well, that's how we're, that's how we, that's, that's how we consume information right now anyway. So why, why break the mold? We keep saying this donors are consumers at the end of the day, they're investors because they're investing yeah. in your organization, but why not brand this way visually? makes all this, it was a game, I, got, I don't mind saying it was a game changer for us. There's organizations that literally choose yeah. to use our items because we provide video and certain competitors don't. So yeah. it's been a game changer for us. The investment Just is- Just a little advertisement. You get a full media kit with everything to load up in there. Pictures, yeah. comments, yeah. banners, we're, things to we're, social media posts. We put it all out there. So super okay. indexed with, with visual aids and, and what have you and information. I think more is, I think more is better in this case. Yeah, it, it so really is. More is so yeah. the last thing that I want to leave you with, you know, we talked about those things, having that nobody wants stuff. They want items, experiences, things like that, that you've got to, you know, really spend that time, the time that they take. The last thing is, is when to be done. Okay. Mm -hmm. Where do I put the live auction? I'm going to, I oh. want you to really, really think about this. And I know there are exceptions. So please, when I say this, this is a general rule, not exclusively period, no matter what, because there are exceptions. 
I want to be done with my fundraising by 9 p.m. in whatever time zone you're at. Mm. 9 p.m. Is the, is the death knell of fundraising, okay? The reason why is that 9 o'clock, people start leaving. 9 o'clock, people have to go get a babysitter. 9 yeah, o'clock, they have to go to work yeah. tomorrow. 9 Life. o'clock, they've got, you know, they've got soccer. And I got soccer at 6 a.m. in the 9 morning. o'clock, you lost their attention. I could be yeah, all these things, right? So, so you want to get done with your fundraising by 9 p.m. Yes. I don't care who the speaker is. I don't care what it, people will stick around for bands and playing and doing all that stuff. But fundraise early, party late. Fundraise okay. early, party late. Love okay? that. Because you want to get everybody's attention. I cannot tell you how many times I've seen a keynote speaker come and the speaker finishes and everybody leaves. I'll give you another example. We had uh, an event that I was distantly a part of. They had 600 people in the room. 600 they had two speakers. One speaker spoke for 45 minutes. The other speaker spoke for an hour. When they were done speaking, guess what? There were 80 people left in the room for the auction. That's a long time. Yeah. It's a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Time have a cap. Yeah. You're, you're putting on a show. Have a cap for have a cap for speaking. You are. They call it a run a show for a reason. We yeah. keep saying that over and over every week, just about. Hey, can I just ask a survey question? Just by our show of hands, everybody. I know just everybody that's here, how many of y'all use a run a show, like a physical, like a piece of paper that you hand out to all the team and everybody knows to run a show? That's a good question. Two, three, four. Oh, four, good. Four. Nice. Good. Good. Everybody should do this. I, I cannot tell you how important it is to keep things on track because awesome. that way everybody knows. When you do a run a show, that's just a piece of paper. It doesn't have to be the full on speeches. It just says, you know, 6 a.m., Doors open, 6.05, welcome, 6.10, you know, we do this, 6.15, 6, 7 o'clock, you know, the dinner, the dinner all this, starts yeah. 7 7.30, yeah. live auction, you yeah. know, 8 o'clock. Um, Another thing, folks like expectations like that yeah, as well. I think they, your well, audience will appreciate that as well. well yeah. and, and that's in the program, so that we're talking about this, yeah. but this is the run of show, and that way yeah. the person knows where they need to be. Absolutely. Because that way... Trevor knows that he has to be on stage, ready to go, or ready to be announced and ready to go at 7.25. Agreed. Marks. Agreed. You know, Jason introduces Trevor at 7.30. Susan uh, gives Trevor a gift, thanks him for speaking at 7.15. In other words, we, he's speaking, so Trevor's going to be the speaker, but we're not going to let him go any more than that. We're going to have you. At 7.15, Susan's walking out with the gift saying, and he's going to wrap it up. I see that my time's time to wrap it up and, and it'll happen. Yep. Okay. Lovely. You got those constraints on people because some people, the first time they get a microphone, they never said three words in their life and this is their time to shine. They want everybody to hear. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. don't I've let seen that, that happen. I've you seen that before. You, gotta, you guys are in control. Okay. Yeah. You've got to make that control. So run a show is super, super important. Agreed. You know, fundraise early, party late. Any other questions? I do like that fundraise early party late. Mm -hmm. Well, because I'll, I'll tell you something while we're waiting for some questions, why I think that's important. There's a misnomer uh, out there that we want to let people get literally. That leaves the yeah, problems we find more than between relaxed and good intoxicated. Call. Yeah, okay? good call. You know, yep. there's really a difference. Um, I, if you get somebody who's been fairly intoxicated and they buy something, they're going to be calling you on Monday going, why do I have $15,000 on my credit card? Good call. Yeah, this hap that happens um, a lot. I was over Probably happened to everybody. Said, yeah. I'm doing this. Or they just tune you out and they're talking and they never even pay any attention. Great question, Steve. Jay? Uh, where do you put dinner? I, I don't have any problem putting dinner right during the, during the event while the people are speaking. You know, it's I easy. I yeah, I don't mind Nobody that either. Thinks, well, yeah. we want we don't want that deal, the plate noise and all that stuff. BS. We all we go to we go to uh, have good audio all the time. Yeah, yeah, it's just an audio thing. Yeah, everybody doesn't care. You know, you can sit there and if you've got a decent speaker, if you got somebody, run your program while people are eating. You don't have to wait. I have a I have a point. I hope that helps, Steve. Good to see you, by the way. Thank you so much for coming, brother. Um, give a point uh, that you would like to make about speaking about audio and making sure everyone can hear the auctioneer and the venue and how that yeah, applies to not so just funny. the show, but the, the live auction in particular, like 
don't make that mistake from an acoustic standpoint, from an audio standpoint. What kind of feedback can you give folks? Or just I just will tell you, stuff, first of all, please. 99% of the time, the house audio is no not going to work. Yep. Especially when you fill the room full of 300 people. Everybody, yeah. yeah. Everybody goes in there and they think, oh, yeah, it's going to be fine. Because you go in there and there's nobody in the room and you turn on and it goes, hello, hello, hello. You know, and it says, oh, wow, that's pretty loud. Yeah, there's no one there. No one there. <laughs> right. And, and it's a matter of, of volume because you can only turn it up so loud and then it just distorts. So you it doesn't gotta, go to 11. So yeah. A professional, and I, I can't encourage this enough, sound will kill your event. If you have poor sound, not only will it kill your live auction, it'll kill it'll your leave money on the table. Yeah. It just, it's just, you're, it's, you've got to spend the, spend the doll, spend the dough to get that. Okay. Um, you know, and the reason is how many of y'all, we've all been to a, like a, a NFL game or an NBA mm -hmm. basketball game or something like this. You never have a problem hearing the announcer, do you? Because even though people get loud and, and see, they're not trying to be rude. Now I have been where they, they've been crazy. And yeah, there's, t there's the like that sometimes. Yeah. But you've got to be able to have the ability for your auctioneer not to have to sit there and play games with them but where they can get over the top of it. Because yeah. you are going to have people that are going to listen. And if you can get enough volume, you can get over the top of it. Not where you're blowing their hair back, but, you know, where if you need to, you've got the volume there. Agreed. Uh, yeah, I think it's awesome. Not everybody are going to sit there like church mice. It just doesn't happen. It's not in our nature. So back to the whole thing about drinking. If you go too late, people do start to become intoxicated and they just become disinterested because Agreed. they're just not thinking about it anymore. Let them party. I love I love VIP after parties and selling tickets to that. I love creativity with that. I think that's that has nothing to do with a live auction. However, um, speaking of that, I think it I think it will work. I think in certain every every event is so unique, but certain ones it'll certainly work. Um, we want to spend all. Go ahead, Go please. Ahead, um, well, I just want to say I want I want we need more questions because you got us for another yeah. twelve minutes. Um, I want to make another point. Here is something that I believe to be, to be completely false, and this is something that's out there that certain people are doing. And I'm going to tell you, I, I, I talk about auctioneers, great auctioneers. There are some auctioneers out there that just are not that great, mm -hmm. and or they're trying to get a job, and so they say, "Well, I don't do a live auction. I only do a fund to meet." Yeah, or they're free because, because they're, they you know, they're not auctioneers. You know, they're yeah. free and they're not auctioneers. You need somebody that's professional. Do not let somebody this be their, you know, Uncle Bob. He may be funny guy with three people, but you put him in front of three hundred people, he's going to lock up and freeze and really and struggle. Okay, mm -hmm. that's not the place that you want to break somebody into this. Yeah, good amateurs call. Amateurs are just that amateurs. This is a professional game. You're raising serious money. It matters to your mission, so it should matter, okay? I, I've seen so many train wrecks in my last 30 years as, as just a guest showing up at a, an event, you know? and It's heartbreaking and at it the end is, of the day. I'm like, it's heartbreaking. Oh. Hey, I have a question. Um, you know I love you, and we don't disagree much on stuff, but why did you – I said no surprises. Well, tell me what you think about that we didn't we didn't circle back to that okay here's what i'm going to say about a surprise yeah. yeah a surprise is not where we're doing something but you can surprise someone with multiple items to have another one oh, i love you, that let okay me give cool, you an example. Cool. Yeah, yeah. so we do what we call a caribbean craze or we do a cabo craze or any any of the all-inclusive yeah. we use because it's something that can be sold multiple times and this is to reach out to everyone okay it's a broad because, stroke and yeah. where i was going to say there's a thing that I, I, a lot of people believe that if somebody buys something in the live auction, they won't give them the fund to need. Completely disagree. That's a misnomer. There are some, there are some, but there's also where the person was going to give you $500 in the fund to need or $200 or $100 because that's all they're going to do. But they'll give you $2,500 for an item that you spend $1,500 on yeah. and you make $1,000 on them. Those because are different budgets. Because they're leveraging their vacation budget, yeah. not their giving budget. Those are different budgets. They were going to spend the money anyway, okay? And that's why I want to say, and then all of a sudden you go, ladies and gentlemen, I see I've got multiple people out here. Who all would like to go for $2,500? And 10 people raise their hand and go, bang, 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 bang. With the and right so item, you yeah. You sell it Perfect. 10 times, you just netted $10,000. And I can assure you, of, of having done this for the last 30 years with all the things, it will not kill your fund to me. It does not do it. It's, it nope. is absolutely, because it's just different money, okay? Yep. Yep. Um, 
Don't you know, let someone tell you otherwise. Don't let someone tell you otherwise. Because we had that conversation event, with Jordan. Yeah. Yeah, we well, did. Who's uh, next week. For an event with 800 people, what should we look at for a price for an auctioneer? Local or go national? Okay. I'm going to tell you this is, I'm going to give you the market. Tell Great you question, all. Steve. Yeah. All right. The market, the minimum market for an auctioneer is $1,500. The top is 10000 I don't know what your budget is, Steve. I don't know what you're doing, but I can tell you this. It makes all the difference because the $10,000 auction, I'm going to just tell you what you're going to get. They're going to come and help you plan your event, help you to be, they're going to be an advocate for you, for your team, for your group to plan this out. They're going to be a part of it months in advance Yeah. Um, to be a part of that, to make sure that you hit success. All right. Okay, cool. Good question. The reason, yeah. the reason that this is important because they've got experience, they go around, they see other things, they know what this is, what they do. Okay. Yeah. Now, you may have somebody local who is a phenomenal auctioneer. Maybe they've got a local auction company or, they do, or they've been doing yeah. it and, you know, they're, 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 because they're local and they're going to, and, and when I say free, you know, I used to give my services away a lot. And what I would do is I would say, look, this is what I charge. And I would just give them the check back because it's my community and that's what I wanted to do because I had another company that I made my living with. So those are things that, you know, there's going to be a little deal, but the, the minimum, I mean, you know, you're looking at three or $4,000 to get Steve. somebody to play right now because yeah. to get somebody who's good. Yeah. There are plenty of auctioneers out here, auctioneers who say they are. Yeah. But if they don't value their service at that much, that level, you're probably yeah. not going to value it either. And I say that very sincerely and thoughtfully. That's just, that's what you're going to do. Steve, let's share a 10 minute call and we can talk it through. Have you never hired a professional fundraising, you know, charity auctioneer before? Just answer in the chat if you don't mind, Steve, or or what have you, but I'm happy to share a call. And then Jason and I can make a recommend uh, a few. We, we don't ever recommend one person. We recommend a myriad of folks and let you interview them. It's actually kind of a fun process and you learn a lot actually along the way uh, about the event and how to best, you know, uh, move forward, obviously. But I'm happy to have a conversation with you, brother, at any time, you know, we, you, you know that. So hey, Trevor, I, I want to hit Jamie's question. Real quick. I love We're the question. Time. Yeah, I great question, Jamie. Quick. Thank you. She said advice on the order, live auction, you know, video, then fund a need. Cool. Okay. There are three ways you can do it. You can do your fund a need first. Yeah. You can do your live auction. You can yep. do your live auction and then your fund a need. I have no preference. My, my personal experience is that mostly I did the live auction. Then we would raise the roof, get everybody crazy, you know, make everything yep. happen, raise a bunch of money. And yep. then we would do the video and we would get them back in. Okay. Yep. We put them back in close. And that, yep. when we would pull them in close, get them all in here really nice and neat and do the fund of need because yep. we're, we're changing the, it's a tempo change. Yep. Okay. Yep. That's the, that's the power of having both. Yep. I, I mean, There's I did, I, I've done, I did an auction. We did three items. We yeah. raised a quarter million dollars and then we raised a half million dollars in the fund of need with three auction items. So please, you know, I, I'm yeah. not saying there's, there's one, it's just about what's right for your event. But and guys, absolutely. If you've got any yeah. questions, sign up for a coaching session. We, it's yeah, free. we can spend, you can spend it. Yeah. We'll spend, spend an hour with you. Yeah. We'll spend an hour with you and, and just go through these things and answer these questions at, at in depth for your event. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We get to see a lot. We got a lot of, you know, we were in a thousand, we were in a thousand events last year. Yeah, that's a lot of data and a lot of information. And we ask a lot of questions out of our out of our the organizations that we have the opportunity to to, to work with and partner with. Um, but I wanted to clarify, and then I want you to give an opinion, Jay, because I think I know where you're going to go because I know where my opinion is. And of course, we're just going to preface this with every organization, every event is different. And if you've hit lightning in a bottle and you've seen success, stick with it, please stick with it. Don't even you know well, listen to us yeah. and have a conversation. Yeah, I think that's I mean, lovely. But yeah, I but want here's I want you to... I want... go ahead, please. Go ahead. Okay, I'll take it. So I, <laughs> when you say video, Jamie, do you mean video about the organization and the mission and who you're serving or video for the live auction items? Because, you know, that, that was one thing I wanted to clarify. One also massive point is, Jay, I want you to give your opinion because I think I know what you're going to say. What should, what, what, yeah, okay, very good. Thank you, Jamie. I figured as much. You want to do the live auction first, right? That's my experience. There you go. Um, okay. That's yeah. been my experience is to do the live auction first. But yeah. I'm going to tell you, I've done it both ways. Okay. Okay. I just wanted to get in it. Yeah. I don't, I don't want to, you know, it's something I would want to talk more about your crowd, the individual. I need to understand about your event, what you've done in the past, what's going to happen. 
Yeah. I'm okay with shaking stuff up, and I was going to make this point yeah. to uh, Steve because Steve said, you know, they've had a donor that's done the auction, they've raised good money, but they think it's time to get somebody professional. We have a friend of ours, her name's Aubrey Hans. She's out of Florida, phenomenal oh, auctioneer. Yeah. She will only do your event four years, and then she's not going to, she's She out. said, you only get me for four years. Yeah. Because awesome. The reason is, it's time for a change. We were yep. talking other organizations, they go, you know what, I, I just, yeah, I know it, I've done it, I've been there. It's time for somebody else to come in, and, because it's a, it's a change of tempo, change of pace. Yep. Really, really yes. love those things, how yes. you get a shake up and a change up and, and, and do something different. Um, if you've been doing it the same way for the, for the last, change it. I'll give you cool. a great example. We had an event, they were raising about $100,000, and they would, it was a fight night deal, and they would do, a, do a, they'd have a fight, and then they do an auction item. And they do the fight and the auction item. Fight. Well, everybody's drinking and sm drinking scotch and smoking cigars. Well, by the time we get to the last fight, everybody's tuned out because they're wasted. Yeah. And I, they asked me to do the auction. I'd been going as a guest for about four years. I was one of the idiots with a scotch and cigar. And they said, would you please do the auction? I said, yeah. I mean, the, the, the founder was a dear friend of mine. I said, of course. And so we did. I said, but the only way I'll do it is if you do the auction first and the fights later. Fundraise first. Hard to Hard to yep. Okay. So yep. we did it. They raised four hundred thousand dollars. I absolutely one hundred percent believe the reason it happened is because we did the fundraising first. We got everybody's attention. We got the money, and then they were free to party. Because every time we change it up, we have to get their attention again. Every time we do, you know, they do. You have to get their attention. Yep. And um, you know, there you go. Elizabeth just just said we changed our auctioneer last year. Yeah. 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 I, I cannot advocate, and I'm not here to, to take anybody's job away. I don't want somebody who's done it, but I can tell you personally who's done things for you, it's good to see a change up. Change okay. leads to growth. I, even with Steve's situation, Steve, it's so awesome that you recognize that and that your your school recognize that. It, Steve's a Catholic school, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> or the, 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 the student body changes, the parents change, you know, all of that. It's all really, really good and effective in that regard. So... Yeah, great food for thought. I love this conversation. I kept saying this all this week on the different podcasts that we did. I just love talking about this, the, you know, the live auction. I think it's phenomenal. We have so much data. So that's why we're going to do part two. Jason, let's give some stuff away. I'll plug next week. We're going to do part two next Thursday. Make sure, don't go anywhere because we're going to give some stuff away, of course. Maybe more than just one winner, Jay, today because of the turnout. We had a phenomenal turnout, everybody. Thanks so much. Let's do this. I'm going to pull yeah. two of them ready to go. Okay. Excellent. I'm, hit the right I'm hitting them all. Hit all okay. the buttons. Hit all the We've buttons. got Daniel Arbuckle and Elizabeth Boyce. You're both winners today. And let me nice. see. Nice. Just pull yeah. up real fast. Just bear with me. It is. You just spin are you spinning right now? Are you spinning the wheel? I'm spinning the wheel. Here it all comes. All one HGA bucks. Y'all one HGA gonna, bucks. I'm gonna, yep. I'm gonna share it with everybody. And here we go. Here Thank we you, go. Jackie. It's awesome. Yeah. All right. Let's here we go. See what you are going to win. Ready? Here we go. Okay. Hang in there, everybody. Fun. You, you, you've gamified the webinar. It's pretty cool. 200 man. HGA box. Nice. All right. So nice. you go through what that is that's equal to two hundred dollars on any item that you use for your fundraiser at hga far so, out hey so our team is going to be in contact with everybody with the recording share it with someone in your network share it with someone at your office and then of course the hga bucks winners you'll be contacted with our by our team within 24 hours thanks so much everyone for coming all the folks that we haven't seen before it's great to meet you please join us next week we'll have a great guest talking about live auctions even further deeper Great opportunity to ask a bunch of questions next Thursday. So episode 147 is going to be a scorcher. And Jason, thank you, brother. That's awesome. Thanks, everybody. Y'all have a great Thursday. Excited up for a coaching session. Come take advantage of it. It's good stuff. We'll oh, see far out. Go to hjfundraising.com and click on the free coaching button. And you can talk to one of us one-on-one -on -one about live auctions or anything fundraising because we're here to help. Our time is free. And uh, that's what we're here for. Give our best information away for free. Thanks so much, everybody. Enjoy your Thursday. Really, really awesome. Thanks, Jay. Bye.